So I had one recording that showed you um, how to do this for the similar, similar lab in the spring. This one is for the lab for this fall 2024. And uh, I'm not going to show you exactly how to do it before you've done the lab, but I will help you get started on it. So um, we're supposed to design a circuit that has two control inputs, two data inputs, and two outputs. And so the all we have four inputs, so those are going to be switches, and you'll have two outputs, U and V, and those uh, should go to some LEDs. Um, and each of these values is one bit, and you're supposed to use a four-variable Carnot map with don't cares to minimize the functions for outputs U and V. So you need to do a K map for U and V. So I'll do uh, some of one of those, and that'll help you get started. So um, let's see. I'll do uh, I'll do U for instance. Okay. So we have four variables. We have I and J, and we have X and Y. So I'll have I J, X Y, and I'll have four variable Carnot map. And this is going to be for output U. If you remember for a Carnot map, this will be 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. And so this corresponds to, like right here, that corresponds to I equals 0 and J equals 1. And this corresponds right there, for instance, to X equals 1 and y equals 1. And so um, if I were in this square right there, if I had a 1, um, that would be um, for when i equals 0, j equals 1, x equals 1, y equals 1. That would mean that u would have a value of 1. So that's what that means. So first of all, we see for uh, function h, we have don't cares right here for you. So those are all don't cares. And um, we see that it says the control inputs i and j will select one function, then x and y will determine outputs u and v according to the selected function. For function f, ij equals 0, 0. For function g, i j equals 0 1 and for function h i j equals 1 0. So let's start with i j equals 0 0. So i j equals 0 0. That corresponds to this column right here. We'll notice that um, we have for function u um, if if function h is selected, then we have don't cares, because u is don't care right there. So if ij is 1, 0, we have don't cares. We also have um, ij, we're given that ij 0, 0 corresponds to function f, ij 0, 1 corresponds to function g, ij10 corresponds to function h, and so that means ij function, ij equal to 1, 1, doesn't correspond to any function, so those are also don't cares. Um, and so now I have ij equals 0, 0, ij equals 0, 0 corresponds to function f, and I'm doing the Carnot map for u. And so I look at u, and I see I have a 0 for x, y equals 0, 0. So here's x, y equals 0, 0, so that's a 0. For x, y equals 0, 1, I have a 1. For x, i, x, y equals 1, 0, I have a don't care. And for x, y equals 1, 1, I have a 1. And then I would do the same thing um, for uh, ij equals 0, 1. 
So ij equals 0, 1 corresponds to, uh, uh, to function g right here. And for function g, 0, 0 gives me 0. 0, 1 gives me 0. And I'm not going to fill in the rest for you. Um, I am going to fill it in, but I'm actually going to fill it in wrong because I don't want to be doing it the rest of it, the, prob the project for you. Um, so I just want to be real clear. I'm not following the table here. I am changing this table to be 0 and 1. So I'm doing a different problem. This is not the problem for your lab. Don't don't do it like this or you'll get it wrong. So this one says 1, 0 is 0 and 1, 1 is 1. Okay, so now if I wanted to minimize this, um, I want to find the biggest groups of 1 and I want to uh, cover them with as few circles as possible. And don't cares can be ones if I need them to be, or they can be zeros if I need them to be. But I only have to cover the ones. So I like to look for big groups. Um, okay, I managed to uh, pause the recording and then not start it, and I started talking again, so I need to go back. So we were right here, we were trying to minimize our function using a Carnot map, and to minimize the function with a Carnot map, we need to um, cover all the ones in our map, and Okay, I can't back up anymore. We need to cover all our ones in our maps, and we need to do it with as big groups as we can and as few groups as we can. So you look for a group of eight, and we don't have any groups of eight, but then you can see that I can get this group of four right here, and that covers these two ones. And then I just have one one left over, and I want to capture that with as big a circle as I can. And the biggest circle I can capture it with is this one that wraps around because I can use these don't cares as ones. And that's all I have to get. I don't have to get the others. So if I look at this horizontal circle, I can see that I and J, I can be 0 or 1 if I look at all these squares, and J can be 0 or 1. And so that means they don't end up in our expression. But in this circle right here, this horizontal circle, x and y are both 1. So that means my expression has an x, y in it where they're not complemented. Not complemented. And I'll have a plus for this next group. And this next group, if I look at my x and y, I see that x can be 0 or 1, so it's not in my expression. But y has to be 1, so it'll be in my group, and it is not complemented because it's 1. And then I see that I, so this is I and this is J, and this is I and this is J, I see that I can be 0 or 1, so it is not in my expression, but J has to be 0, so it will be in my expression, and since it's 0, it will be complemented. So that means U equals XY plus YJ um, is uh, my... Uh, my function for u. Now remember, it's wrong. Don't use that. But I gave you the idea. This will give you the idea of how to use it. Okay, so let's say that after you minimize it, you get these functions. Again, these are not the ones for yours. These are not. These are not right. But you should have something kind of like that. Okay, so now you need to draw the circuits for it. So you'll have uh, four inputs. So you'll have um, X and Y and I and J. Um, and let's see, for this first one, 
I would probably rewrite that as y and x or not j and the bottom one I would leave as it was just because I can factor that y out. So I need a not x, a not y, and a not j. And for each of those I also need the non-complemented versions. So for each of these I need a complemented and a non-complemented. So I'm just going to go ahead and set this up. I have these. And then um, for u, I have x or not j. I'll put that down here. x or not j. And then that gets anded to y. And that output is u. And then I have, so that was this one. And then for v, I have i and j. And I have not x and not y. And those are ORed together. And that output is V. Let's see, I didn't see anything here that I could like use in both of my circuits. Um, Yeah, so I didn't see anything that I could reuse. Okay, so what does this have? I have I have uh, four not gates, four four not gates, two um, or uh, gates, and three and gates, and they're all two input. So I'm going to go to the course website. And I go to Lab Resources, and I'm going to go to Chips Available in the Lab, and I see that I've got um, quadruple two input positive AND gate, so that's chip 74X08. And that's a quadruple two input AND gate. So I can use that one. I've got um, 74X04 is my NOT gate. And I've got Seven four X thirty two is my two input OR gate. And that's a quadruple two input OR gate. So I have um, and you want to be on the lookout, by the way. I don't know if it shows up in yours or not. But if you ever have 
um, x, not y, or not x, y. I honestly do not know if this shows up in yours. Um, that is an exclusive or. That is one gate, so that's an exclusive or. So that can save you a lot of chip, uh, a lot of things if you see that. An exclusive or gate looks like that. So just kind of be on the lookout for that. Um, also, similarly, um, this not x, not y. So that is, um, so I might change this. So not x and not y is the same as x. Okay, so the um, show you. So I have not x and not y. So the and of if I have x or y not that by De Morgan's law is the same as not x and not y. So this is a NOR gate. So I could replace my not x, not y right here. That would save me some, some steps, so I'm going to do that. Okay, so I replaced all of those with a single NOR gate. So let me go back and get that chip. So a two input NOR gate. Uh, that'd be 74XO2. 74XO2. Okay, so I still have and, and, or, and a not, and a nor. So, all right, so um, I will have, let me just capture this. Okay, and you'll need the data sheets for each of these. I happen to know uh, a lot of these, so I, I know what they'll they'll be like. So for a NOT gate, a NOT chip, I know that um, it is always true, four, five, six, seven, that seven is ground, and eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12, 13, 14, 14 is VCC, and I know for a NOT gate, um, I know that 1 um, would be an input, so if I put uh, A into 1, NOT A comes out at 2, so I know that I can have, if this if my NOT gate, which was 74x04, is chip number 1, that this would be chip 1, and it would go in to 1 um, and out at 2. And then let's remind ourselves of what else we need there. If we go back to... Lab one. 
and we look at our example not web one. Am I in the wrong course? Nope. Okay, um, where does it say it is? See the appendix of the appendix of this one. Okay, so um, we have to say the uh, input and the output. And so um, if I so I, I will show you the data sheet for um, the Nord the or the not gate. And so if I go back to the course website. And I go to lab resources. Um, I have uh, data sheets. You download those, and it's a zip file. And so I have already downloaded those. So I will just go to my data sheets. And if I go to 24x04, which is 24SL04, I can see that it's 1A and 1Y is my NOT gate. Um, and if I look, I see the logic here, 1A comes in and 1Y, that's the NOT comes out. So then if I look at my... sample here, I'm supposed to put the 1A and the 1Y on the outside and the pin number in parentheses. So I will go, this is the pin number, that'd be 1A, this would be 1Y. And then for my NOR gate, which was 74x02. I have 1A, 1B are my inputs, and the NOR of 1A and 1B is 1Y. So that's 1Y, 1A, oh, 1Y is the output. Oh, I would have done that wrong. 1Y is the output, and 1B and 1A are the inputs. So that's two and three, so that would be uh, for her, our NOR, two, three, one A, one B, and our output one Y is on pin one. 
and this is chip number two that will be our NOR gate and then my AND gate is 74X08 it'll be three and I happen to know I just know this already but I'll, I'll show you so our AND gate uh, 74X08 so uh, 1A and 1B are pins 1 and 2 and 1Y is the output is pin 3 2A and 2B are pins 4 and 5 and 2Y is the output uh, and that's pin 6 so I will have 1A 1 1B 2 and the output 1 Y 3 and then this will be 2A pin 4 2 B pin 5 2 Y pin 6 and the OR gate is set up the same way so this will be chip number 4 and that will be 74 X Thirty-two, um, and this will be one A pin one, one B pin two, one Y pin three, one A pin one. I mean two A pin four, two B pin five and 2B pin 6 and then you have to draw your your actual circuit layout so I'll have my four chips actually I'll do this And this was one, two, three, four, and I have my inputs X, Y, I, J. And I have my outputs U and V. And my output U comes from chip 3, pin 6. And V comes from chip 4, pin 6. I also have all of these will be connected to ground. through pin 7 and all of these will be connected to VCC through pin 14 and then X goes to pin 2 in chip 2 
Y goes to uh, pin 3 in chip 2. Well, X also goes to pin 1 in chip 4. And then Y goes to pin 3 in chip 2. And also goes to pin 4 in chip 3. And then I goes to pin 1 in chip 3. And J goes to pin 2 in chip 3. J also goes to pin 1 in chip 1. And then I have uh, 1, pin 1 from chip 2 goes to pin 4 in chip 4. What was supposed to be our input into chip 2? X was supposed to go into pin 2 for chip 2. Oh, I didn't read this correctly. Shoot. do this again. Okay, X goes into both pin 1 of chip 4 and pin 2 of chip 2. Y goes into pin 3 of chip 2 and pin 4 of chip 3. I goes into pin 1 of chip 3. And J goes into pin 2 of chip 3 and pin 1 of chip 1. And then from chip 1, we have pin 2 is going to pin 2 of chip 4. And then from chip 4, 
I have pin 3 is going to pin 5 of chip 3. And then on chip 3, I have pin 3 is going to pin 3 on chip 4. Uh, pin 3 is going to pin 4 on chip 4. And I think that's everything. No, I don't have anything coming into pin 1. So from my NOR gate, I have pin 1 is going into pin 4 of chip 4. This pin 3 was supposed to be going to... It doesn't matter. 3 was... This was supposed to be going to 5. I'll make it 4. And this one will go to 5. So I will have pin 1 going to 5 of chip 4. And that's everything. Okay, exciting. Alright, so that's how you do it. Remember, those are not actually how yours are set up.